students, my name is Jordan, and today I'm going to be showing you my formal makeup routine. Okay, so I am going to be starting off with my CC Cream by Mary Kay, also known as Color Corrective, in the shade of light to medium. Um, and I'm going to be blending that with my blending sponge right here. So, you don't want to use too much because little goes a long way. So you just want to put it in the main places. I put it on my nose, my cheeks, my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and on my neck. And what you want to do, you don't want to slide it. You want to tap it until you don't see it anymore. Well, I mean, you don't want to not see it, but until you don't see it anymore. And I also do a little bit on my ears. So, I'm so excited to be starting my YouTube channel. Like, I know that I've done some videos before, but... I don't really count those. They are videos, but it's not, they were when I was little, and, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so, um, I have a lot of videos planned. Um, I have some about my pets planned. I have more makeup routines, like my everyday school look makeup routine. Um, I would also like to do a tour on my house once it's actually ready because we just moved in um, all the way from the magical place we all love and know, Orlando, where the Disneyland happens. Okay, so next step is my highlighter and my eyebrows. So, I am using by Mary Kay again. It's not out anymore, but it's my favorite palette. Um, it's called Mary Kay At Play. So, as you can tell, I love my highlighter. <laughs> so, I just gotta get the rest of what's there. And I apply it on the very tip of my nose. And the rest of my nose, too. And then I add it right here. I forgot what it's called, but I think it's something like a bow, because it's like this, and then out like this. So I'm pretty sure it's like called the Cupid's bow or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I also like to apply it right here, right above where my cheek color is going to go. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, and for this, you can also tell that I do use my eyebrow color too. Um, so, I like to, right where my eyebrows start, where there's a little bit less eyebrow hair, I like to start there and I use my angled brush. And I start it right there and then I go down. And as you can see, there's a little bit down here, and I just wiped that away with my finger because it's it goes away very easily. Sorry, guys. I had to change my lighting. That way you can see my face a little bit better and what I'm doing. So I forgot to arch my eyebrows, so I'm going to get started on that right now. And then I'm going to show you the difference between the eyebrow that I've done and the eyebrow that I'm about to do, and you will see the biggest difference. So I'm just going to do it like kind of near the middle, although other people can do it where they like. I like it kind of near the middle, a little bit off the middle, kind of where it starts getting thin, I guess, and then point it at the end. And I just trace it over with my finger. And voila. So this is the difference between them. This is the eyebrow that is that is um, not done. And there is a huge difference. I don't know how people don't do their eyebrows. 
because it's insane. I love doing my eyebrows and I think that it makes such a huge difference because plus my hair is a bit lighter. It is dirty blonde and I feel like the lighter that your hair is, your eyebrows just, they're lighter and it doesn't look as good. So I always like to do my eyebrows the color of my roots. It just makes it look a lot better. So let's get started on my other eyebrow. So again, I'm just going to start right here at the beginning and go all the way through. And if it's thick, if, if it's too thick because I'm using all of this, you can always go back and make it less. But I always like to start off trying to get as much color in as possible and using my finger to kind of just shape it up a little bit right there and I'm going to add a little bit more except without the thickness just adding a bit more color um, and then I'm going to start shaping and again I do it right near the middle a little bit off kind of where it gets skinny then after that I kind of just shape it with my finger because your finger is more accurate than any tool um, and so now that I'm done with my eyebrows I'm just gonna go back to my highlighter and get a little bit of that and I'm going to put it right over the eyebrow. And I'm going to do it on my other eyebrow. Now see how much of a difference just highlighter and eyebrows can make? Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my blush. It is by Mary Kay, and this color shade is, ta-da, oh, Ripe Watermelon. Mm, I could go for some Ripe Watermelon right now. So I'm just going to put a little bit for the beginning, and I'm going to put it right under my highlighter. Just that way I get a little bit of color on my cheeks. I don't like too much, but so that's a good amount, but I'm going to go for a little bit more. And I'm just going to keep going up and down and blending it in. So now that I'm done with that side, I think that that is a perfect amount. It's not too flashy. I'm going to do it on this side too, right under my highlighter. I'm going to start off with a little bit and see if that's a good amount. And like the other side, I'm going to add a little bit more because this time I started off with a bit more. And so I always add a bit of color on my cheek, just to give my cheeks a little bit of pop. And so real quick, right before I do my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Satin Lips Lip Balm by Mary Kay. And I'm going to apply that to my lips, that way my lips can start getting nice and soft. This stuff is so great especially because now that I've moved to Texas my lips are already chapped enough in the first place but now that we've moved to Texas you think that it's nice and warm well let me tell you it's not it's cold and you know what cold is means it means chapped lips and this stuff fixes it there's the satin lip scrub and there's a satin lip balm I use my satin lip scrub so much that I don't have any more. 
Now all I have is the bomb, but it works just as well. And I apply it right before I do my lipstick or before I do my eyes. That way it's on for longer, depending on how chat my lips are. I am going to be doing my concealer because it's also dry season, as I told you. And I start getting little rashes and stuff when it's dry season. So I'm just going to use the last bit of concealer I have. I'm going to put it just a little bit where um, my little stuffs are. It's quite light. Um, so, hold on. There we go. For my eyes, I am going to be using the Mary Kay palette. It's brand new. And these colors, they're very bold. If you know what I mean. Like, again, a little bit goes quite a long way. Um, so I'm going to start off with a base, and because this is a formal look, I do want it to match my dress, um, I want my colors to be kind of spring-like, so I'm going to start off as a base with this color right here. Just gonna apply that real quick. And then to the other eye. So that is the color of my base. Um, so next, I am going to be adding a nice bright color. I'm going to be using this color right here. Um, and I'm going to put that right at the inner corner of my eye. Like so. Now that I've got my inner corners done, I am going to be adding this beige color right here, right next to there. I'm gonna get that and apply it right here. Okay, so that didn't really, it showed up well, but I want it to be more bold. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. That looks good. Then I'm going to do the same on the other eye real quick. And if you're wondering why I added a bottom coat, I do it because sometimes the colors are really light and because I'm not that tan, um, my veins show. So I like to add a nice thick layer before I put this stuff on because some of the colors are lighter and you can see through them. And it just gives it a much more smooth look to it as well. Okay, looks about even. So next, 
I am going to go in for this pinkish color right here. Now, this depends on what I'm wearing that day, what colors I use, of course. But I always go for this look. I always have to formal event these inner corners, and it goes out kind of like an ombre effect. So I'm going to add this pink right where the middle starts. And I'm going to actually go for a bit of a darker pink. It's more of a purplish pink right here. I'm going to add a little bit of that because I just feel like the other pink isn't dark enough. So, I wear makeup every day, or at least I try to, because I do wake up early and it's a big difference for me because waking up early here is to me waking up like two hours earlier. Because one, I ride the bus, and when I was in Orlando, I never rode the bus, so I never had to get up early. Um... Also, it's a one hour difference here versus Orlando. So, I try to do my makeup, but sometimes I just can't get to it. But when I do have time, it's a much more basic look. I don't really do as much as this, but again, this is a formal look. So, this is how the eye is turning out. So, I'm going to do my other eye real quick, and then I'm going to do my eyeliner. Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to get started on my eyeliner. Now, I don't do eyeliner unless if it's a special occasion or we're going to a party, because it's not that eyeliner scares me. It's the fact that after I've done all my makeup, I'm scared that I'm going to mess up my eyeliner. So I don't really do anything too big for my eyeliner. I just go across. I don't add a wing or anything because, I don't know, I feel like wings are really hard to do. Now, I've done wings before. They just really, I mean, yeah, I like wings, they're, they're cool. So I, I'm going to add a little wing. I'm not going to do anything too big, just that tiny little wing right there. So, this is how my eye is turning out so far, so I'm going to get on to my next side. And so, now that I have done my eyeliner, I am going to get started on my mascara. So next I'm going to be putting on my mascara by Mary Kay Lash Intensity. Um, and this, they have a lot of different types. There's waterproof, there's lengthening. Intensity is intense. Um, it gets your eyelashes nice and long. Um, so there is a side with shorter bristles than the other side. Now, one side is to, basically you just want to start at the bottom and shimmy your way up. 
shimmy 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 and you just want to keep on doing that and you can already see a huge difference so I'm going to do this eye now lastly I am going to be doing my lips um, this is again by Mary Kay in the shade of Bashful You. It's a very nude color. And I thought that it would go perfectly with my dress. So I'm just going to apply. It doesn't do much, like the color, because it's almost the same exact color as my lips. But you can tell that there's quite a bit difference, and it feels really nice. So, now that I have done that, I am just going to take this little lip gloss that I've had for, I think, a year or so. I'm going to shake all of it down. It's a roll it, so I'm just going to roll. Right over the nude color. And now it looks like a glossy new color. So I'm just going to be crimping my hair. And you don't want to be sitting here watching that forever. So I'm just going to fast forward it. And I'm just going to watch some YouTube on my phone. <laughs> I hope that you liked my tutorial and I know that it looked like a lot of makeup but really it's natural except for the eyeliner and like I said before I don't really wear eyeliner so it's just for special occasions so take away the eyeliner and it's completely natural so I would very much appreciate it if you could scroll down subscribe to my channel hit the bell notifications that way you get notifications whenever I post a video um, and I would really like it because I'm going to start trying to post more. Um, I have quite a few videos coming up planned. I have tutorials on how to clean sponges, more makeup tutorials. Um, I'm, I want to do a music video. Um, well, you guys can also comment down below and tell me what you guys would like me to do. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!